It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And I am at Grand Jetto's Farm and Garden Supply in Escondido, California. This is a very, very industrial part of San Diego. Sorry about that. Uh, a lot of, a lot of homeless. Um, you know, just it's it's a bit depressed, but Kevin Brangetto would like to do a community garden. And hats off, Kevin. He has hired our Hannah to create a beautiful garden. The, here, this was all just, oh my gosh, weeds and neglect and ugly. Um, so Hannah has been working diligently to bring some life to this area. So what she's got going right now is an assortment of citrus. She has a team of workers from Grand Jettos that have been helping her do her installation, stage her boulders, bring in her soil and so forth. This is a, you'll see a really big property. But we've got a variety of fruit trees, which of course the fruit will be available to anyone who, who would like to have it. There's, there's these wonderful raised beds on a bed of hardware cloth. That'll prevent critters from burrowing underneath. And, you know, we've got vegetables. It looks like strawberries and, what's that? Cabbage, aw. Cauliflower. Every type of citrus tree known to man. I don't know if there are any stone fruit. I think it's all citrus, but so much. And then of course the staff will manage the garden. A lot of lettuce over here. Hannah's been paying particular attention to her microclimates and exposures. So this area right here at the corner is planted out in beautiful succulents for the most part. Her top dressing will be a combination of mulch around the fruit trees and the raised beds and top dressing rock. Leftover top dressing rock, I'm told, from her installation at the fair. Remember at the Del Mar Fairgrounds, Hannah was the designer for Grand Jettos. And now Kevin Grand Jetto would like her to do an installation at his home. So it just it's just been fantastic. Waterwise right now has got some Aztec King Mangabe's pretty good size, pretty grown out if you're interested. I'm very excited about that. And our new thing is to take Pacopodium lamerii and plant them together. So we have this little oasis effect. How cute is that? And what a great idea right at the corner of this building. Then she also selected Desert Museum Palo Verdes along the side. This is um, it gets pretty warm over here. So we'll have the shade of the Palo Verdes to protect the uh, inside of the building. And look at how pretty, oh my goodness, just looking so good. And then interspersed through here are more fruit trees. The team is working really hard to get all of this irrigated. Is there going to be any lighting? Oh, there's determining if lighting would be a safe thing. Safe um, from the standpoint of too much attention vandalism. drawn and vandalism. Apparently people steal stuff. People steal stuff. Okay. But we're going to keep a really good thought. And, you know, I just think that plants bring out the best in people. So my hope is that that the community will rally behind this beautiful garden and protect it. Uh, some things from Waterwise. The bowls of, you didn't take my harm CI bowls, did you? I went ahead and tagged a bunch of these too. They're gorgeous. More raised. 
more raised beds and Hannah's wondering how we feel about her portalacaria on the rock. I love it. It's giving me life. But see how this just goes on for days and days? Oh, there's another mangabe. Uh, Pilosoceros azurus. Ooh. Yucca rostrata. Nice. And many of these aloe cameronii were actually harvested from this side of the property. I know, guys, it's, we're still going here. Harvested from over here. There was a giant stand of cameronii. And it just got cut up and moved all around um, over here in her planting area. And here's their big parking lot. And then here's another desert museum. And this, she didn't do a whole lot here because they've got these giant stands of, it looks like moonshine, agave moonshine, which look great. And the Senecio vitalis, not one of my favorites. But here, this kind of gives you an idea of what the rest of the property looked like. See here? Uh, apparently, these weeds just haven't gotten handled yet. But this vignette that you're looking at right now is basically what it looked like all the way around. So she is going to resurrect some... Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. I found the Cameronii. Hannah, you got all your Cameronii over here. Um, maybe I can score some of those for my job, my next job. Uh, but, yes, she's going to delineate, you know, with the burgundy lava, bold, um, rubble. It's going to be great. Look at this. Look what a beautiful job the guys did. This was a giant stand. They cut it all up. And now look. See, this is how they do it at nurseries. This is how you propagate, particularly aloes. This particular variety of aloe, which is tough as nails here in San Diego. And you can see that it's already turning red. And see those little blooms coming? They will not be impacted by having their heads cut off. Isn't that amazing? There must be 50 Cameronii here. I wonder where Hannah's planning on putting all of these. Well, she's got space. She's got a lot of space to, to pop them around. They're gonna be fantastic and just add some pop of red color. So yeah, I just wanted you guys to see the progress that she's making and, and see what Hannah's been up to these last couple of weeks. She accompanied us up to the ranch for some of our stay. And then she got, she got a cold. The flu. She got the flu and wasn't feeling well, but she's feeling better now. Mommy, mommy took care of her and clearly she has been a busy busy girl so this has been laura eubanks designed for serenity with hannah at grand Jettos in escondido with your succulent tip of the day bye guys